These two custom homes are actually quite famous. One custom home is kind of pure AOSP and second one is pure Pixel. Which one you should try, which are the differences and some similarities. I will talk about all of those things in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Which custom home I'm talking about here? In the left side we have Aero OS, in the right side we have Pixel OS and both of these custom homes are super good and it depends upon which device you're using. This might be conflict of interest. I mean if you like Aero OS more rather than Pixel OS or something like that, it, it's just totally up to you. But both of these custom homes are so good. First of the major difference in both of these custom homes is the launcher as expectedly. In Pixel OS, without any doubt, you will get the Pixel launcher pre-installed. You can see all the Pixel launcher features and pixel launcher is not a customizable launcher by the way you can mod that by installing some mods on a device by installing magisk modules but if you want to use arrow os then you will not see pixel launcher it's kind of arrow os launcher which is having the double tap to sleep feature which is having some icon labels related customizations and developer options parallel space and some options like that which is not available in pixel os this is one of the major differences in Arrow OS and Pixel and in Pixel OS. If we move on to Quick Settings panel, here also is a biggest change. Arrow OS by default was giving you the dark Quick Settings panel until previous update, but the last update, which was based on main security patch, I found now they're bringing you the light Quick Settings panel. If you use a light mode, if you use a dark mode, you will see the dark Quick Settings panel. Whereas if you use Pixel OS, then it's nothing like that. You will able you will be able to use the dark quick settings panel even if you're using light mode on your device so this is the major difference in quick settings panel another difference in both of these custom home is the icons as arrow os is purely aosp so it it is giving you this posp icon pack as far as i know i use potato open source project custom room that fm radio icon camera icon i mean if you use the vanilla version of arrow os you will see those icons but pixel os as expected having the pixel launchers or pixel icons Parallel space is also one of the major differences in both of these. As you can see, Pixel OS, we don't have anything like that. But in Arrow OS, we have the parallel space option. What this is, it is basically app cloning, which is now officially coming to Android 14. But by right now, while making this video, it's not possible. But parallel space is one of the things which is available here. And you can use this thing on a device. For example, if you use Arrow OS, you can use the apps. You can see you can use multiple instances of a particular app. This is a really interesting thing, by the way. You can create approximately five parallel space. As far as I know, you can clone these apps. It's totally up to you. And this is one of the interesting features. Unfortunately, Pixel OS doesn't provide you that. But Arrow OS, if you use Arrow OS, you will get to know this one. Also, if we move on to the battery options, both of these custom homes provide you to see the battery usage from the last full charge. So there is nothing new here. But if you ever use, if you have ever used a battery saver, if you're able to notice here, Pixel OS it will provide you the extreme battery saver. But uh, Arrow OS will not give you this kind of option. Extreme battery saver is available here in Pixel OS and by right right now while making this video if you need extreme battery saver even in Arrow OS how you can get that you can use Pixelify Magisk module for that or you can use extreme battery saver magisk module if you need that but right now by default you can't enable this option it's not present in the battery saver options but other options are basically same like schedule etc etc also, if you move on to the wallpapers and styles options, without any doubt, Arrow OS will bring you some features if you take a look at, but in Pixel OS, you will not get. But if you if you're using Pixel OS previous version, which was based on March or maybe April security patch, they were bringing you Paranoid Android Launcher, which means this feature, these features were present there in Pixel OS also, but only for the one update. In the next update, they bring back that Pixel Launcher. So these kind of features like fonts customizations, icon pack customizations, or icon shape customizations from the default launcher are not available in Pixel OS anymore. It's only available in Arrow OS. If you use Arrow OS, you'll get to know these features on a device. You'll be able to use them. If you use, if you don't want to use, you can simply ignore these. As you can see, we have icon shape options present here. This is about Arrow OS. And if you move on to the security options now, here one major difference is both of these custom brings you pin lock pattern lock face lock fingerprint app lock everything but if you move on to the pin lock options i mean screen lock options that scramble layout quick unlock hide on lock screen these features are actually available in pixel os but not in arrow os 
for example quickly unlock your device if you use the right pin if you if you enter the right pin it will automatically unlock your device while as in arrow os this feature is not present that's quite useful by the way also if you are looking for the game dashboard both of these custom provides you same kind of options if you move on to the game dashboard these custom does not bring you that new game dashboard or basically new game space which a lot of custom rooms are bringing you like evolution x os c android and there are many custom rooms like i mean tons of custom rooms are available in the market which you can go and explore but in both of these custom rooms game space is basically same and moving on to some some of the similarities you just notice about game game dashboard and also in uh, ignore window secure flags which will simply remove the screenshot and screen record limit some features might be here and there for example for pixel os some features might be in display settings some features might be in privacy settings or something like that but features actually present in both of these custom rooms ignore window secure flags data usage network traffic monitor which is available in arrow os it is also present in pixel os where this is you can move on to settings home page network and internet and at the bottom you will be able to notice network traffic indicator is present here so like this there are a lot of options a lot of customizations present in both of these custom rooms both of these custom rooms are so stable by the way if you use the official version and if you move on to the sound and vibration options here also some of the similarities it is like the screen locking sound screenshot sound etc but the per app volume control this is amazing that this is not present in arrow os it's quite strange actually but it's not a big deal if you don't use that if you use that you might notice these things so vibration and haptics both of these custom does not provide you the option to simply simply manage the that kind of intensity which is present in evolution x os or some custom rooms like that but in arrow os or pixel os they don't have the option to manage the intensity of the vibration moving on to the gestures option as expectedly we are talking about some of the similarities right now so both of these custom provides you the same system navigation options quickly open camera one handed mode and other options almost same like swipe to screenshot there is no major change in both of these custom rooms in gestures as you can see playback control quick quick settings pull down available in both we have prevent ringing option which is kind of literally different not it's also same here if we move on the system navigation and gesture navigation and three button navigation here you will be able to notice here one difference here is a haptic feedback for the back gesture which is present in pixel os but not in arrow os but other than else almost same kind of things present so these were things i just wanted to let you know about arrow os versus pixel os it's totally up to you which you want to install if you need aosp kind of look aosp kind of feeling then you can try out arrow os but if you need pure pixel experience then you can try out pixel os thanks for watching. Watching. Links available in the description. Goodbye.